Ricky Thaper is the spokesperson and treasurer for the Poultry Federation of India. And today we're here at the IPE. Um, Ricky, could you give us a little detail about current developments in the Indian market, please? Yeah, sure, Mark. Poultry industry is a sunrise industry in India, and it's growing, especially broiler industry is growing at the pace of 12% per annum. And if we talk about layer industry, egg industry, that's growing uh, 7 to 8% per annum. Our federation, this is a federation of all those who are directly or indirectly related to poultry industry, broiler industry, layer industry, breeding industry, feed manufacturers, equipment manufacturers, and all allied industries related to poultry. We Poultry Federation of India, we represent the entire poultry industry in India and we also give presentation to the government of India, Ministry of Agriculture, especially like right now our problem is corn and soybean meal which are the two main ingredients it's being exported to other countries. Because of this export the cost of soybean meal and corn is going high thus increasing the cost of poultry feed so that our poultry farmers cost of production is going high. So recently we made a representation to Ministry of Agriculture with a request that they have to allot some quota so that at least the farmers get first preference or the feed manufacturer get the first preference for the soybean meal and the corn so that the farmer cost of production does not go very high. On behalf of our federation, those who want to enter into this industry, we extend all services free of cost, no charges, our session, we encourage them because this poultry industry is also creating uh, employment, especially the broiler industry because within five weeks your road money comes back to you. So we are encouraging the young generation, especially the unemployment people that they should start a poultry farming and I'm sure that in the further next coming 10 years, India has got a great future in this poultry industry. Thank you. Ricky, thank you very much.